Carolina Gamecocks ended last season with five straight losses and did not play in a bowl. You know the old ball coach is ready to get the winning ways back in Columbia in 2008. One place he knows he will get production is with wide receiver Kenny McKinley. He was one of the best receivers in the SEC last season, but as Jim Hildreth found out, Kenny sizzles on and off the field. This could have been a very different summer for South Carolina's Kenny McKinley. After a stellar junior season, the Mableton, Georgia native thought about taking a big payday in the NFL. But for McKinley, he just wants to enjoy the college life a little bit longer. Yeah, I can't lie. I was thinking about it. You know, it's money. But then you can always, it's always just one year. You can always wait one year and come back in college, man. It's the best time of your life. I got some goals I want to set. Break some records and uh, j just just start a foundation and, and be the one I can say, well, we started, we started winning ACC championships that year, my year when I came back. The road to the SEC championship will be a tough one for Kenny and the rest of the Gamecocks. But team goals aside for a moment, McKinley has a chance to etch his name in the Carolina record books and replace Sterling Sharp as the Gamecocks all-time leading receiver. Now, see that guy's name up there? Yeah. Sterling Sharp? Is yep. there are we gonna see your name up there in a the plaque? Yeah, hope hopefully you'll see my mine up there one day and uh after this season, hopefully it'll be up there. I come out here sometimes, and I just come out here like it is today. Nobody really out here, and I just look at it and like, man, Kenny McKinley, all-time leading receiver. I mean, that's that's a big accomplishment. Not yeah, too many people can say that they they've accomplished. And uh, one day, I hope my name is up there. If McKinley is going to make it to the top of the receiving charts at Carolina, he knows he's going to have to continue to work hard in the off season on all the little things. All right, Kenny, so say I'm a DB trying to cover you. How do you get open? How do you beat me and get past me and catch the touchdown? The first five yards is, is the main point of, okay. of getting open. Everything I do, I try to, like, make it seem like I'm going the opposite way or I'm really going. If I want to do a slant, I might just work my feet a little bit, fake like I'm going to, to here, and I'm coming back this way. Okay. So it's all about dancing. So I try to get up on you? Yeah, yeah, that's what the DB gonna do. The DB gonna try to, okay. they gonna try to get in your grill and all that. All right. So they, get, if you, you quick enough, you can leave him standing, hitting the air, and you run right past him. Call it a double step. So I'm gonna work my feet. Okay. Give a hard step here, <laughs> and I'm coming this way. So you think I'm coming when I get a hard step here? Uh, -uh and I'm gonna come back this way. Okay. Yeah, come back this way. All right, now don't tell me what you're gonna do. All right, I'm, I ain't gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell the camera what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna listen. You wanna run a slam again? You, and you just try to you just try to guard me. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> That's how yeah. you get him at the line. Dust you work it. your feet. Work your feet. Man, your feet do move fast. So what are <laughs> what are some of like the little drills that you've done or things you've done to get better with your footwork since you've been here? Honestly, I'm gonna tell you the true thing that, that really got them better is playing basketball. Yeah. Like if you get a ladder and do mm -hmm. just just ladder drills, just in the way this way, just just working feet down the ladder. All right. We know you have to catch the ball. obviously. So once it gets to your hands, Man, how do you take thing, care of it after that? The first thing is, is our instinct. Every time I catch the ball, I'm trying to tuck it away. Some people, they might use their body to catch the ball, or, or I don't know, some people catch like this. I just try to try to catch the nose of the ball and make sure I get the ball and tuck it away. I've fumbled one time since I've been here, and you you don't want to come to the sideline after making a fumble. So every time <laughs> I catch the ball, tuck it away. If you had to do a little dance, I know you can't now, but if you had to, you, you said you got the footwork. I got the footwork. Can you break man. it down? Lean with it, rock with it, lean with it, rock with it, lean with it. You know what I'm saying? I do all this. We 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 walk it out. I need some music to walk it out. When we go to the house, I'm I'm, I'm gonna put some music on. We gonna we gonna have a dance party. Cause this is what we do. We we cook out. We we eat good. Or we just bond that team and we dance, man. I'm gonna show you when we get to the house and we gonna put some music on. We gonna dance. And so it is that we head home with Kenny for a little cooking out, Gamecock style. How y'all doing, man? Uh. Kenny McKinley, University of South Carolina. 
We are here for the grill today. I love the grill, and I love to have my, my friends over and teammates over. We're going to show you how, how we cook out down here, man, at the University of South Carolina. Now that is a serious apron. apron. <laughs> you got the salt, you got the pepper. You got to do what you need right here. Tony seasoning salt. <laughs> but everything you cook, man, this, this is the key right here. I'm, my, I, my family's all from Louisiana, and it's Tony seasoning salt. That's, that's how we get down. Man, you rock it old school with the grill, huh? Oh, a little yeah, charcoal, yeah. Yeah, not little, messing with the gas. Yeah, not messing with none of that. Yeah, a little charcoal. This, this is hard. This is how I grew up on. Yeah, my daddy taught me how to grill, man, uh, since I was young. You gotta get some good, get some good charcoal, man. You get that cheap stuff, and it take it take two hours for your stuff to light up. So we get the good charcoal, put it all in here. Now, how often are you out here doing this? Man, we grill out, man, two, sometimes three times a week, man. This just is, it's just a good way for us to to get together and hang out and play some cards and just express ourselves. This is what we call the Kool Aid Man, cause he made the best Kool Aid. Man, we just bond tight, man. That's why we like to cook out, cause it brings a lot of bonding to us. Uh, my teammates come over, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, my girlfriend. And this time, like you seen them in there, they playing cards, just, just having a good time. Uh, 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 don't lift, that's a bad queen. Okay. Some people play, watch TV, might play video games, and uh, I mean, just bring people together and we just have a good time. And you do the work. When I, when I do the work. Let's start this thing up. All right. Children, don't try this at home. <laughs> it's a way for me to get away from a lot of stuff. That's why it's, the favorite, it's my favorite thing that I do. Yeah. It's come out and cook. It's good. It's your relaxing. Think about if you were just out here by yourself, you know, away from the world. Uh, you just got to grill. You can gonna come out here, <laughs> chill out. My father actually taught me how to cook. Uh, he been grilling. He, when I was growing up, he he was always grilling. Like I said, he was he was out there, man, in the cold, 30 degrees. He had a grilling. So my uncles and my and my daddy, man, they they've always they've always cooked. So they passed down on to me. Hopefully, I pass it on to my to my children. Now we we use paper plates and we use everything. We still in the college now, so we gotta save. We gotta save money. Get you a cup. Be the first. You can be the first sampler. Hey, 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 y'all, man. Hey, the food ready. The food ready, man. Y'all come on. Food ready. They all in there having fun. I'm out here by myself. It's a life for the cook, though, man. It's a life for the cook. It's the real man. Oh, we have a casualty. <laughs> good, good eating right here. This Kim and Kim, you see it? We, we like a crisp on the end. Yeah. Like a burnt to a crisp. You have a good time, you play cards, but at the end of the night, you can't, it ain't, it ain't a real cookout unless somebody in here crank it up. You gotta walk it out, though. <laughs> 